Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of ProLine as we're heading toward March Madness. It's not far away now. In fact, the first of the conference tournaments begins next week. So, you know, it, it, it's flying along, and there's lots of college basketball to talk about. We're going to get into the SEC and the Pac-12 today, trying try to give you some ideas for the end of the season and for their conference tournaments and uh, some other good stuff as well. Before we do that, let's catch up with who's here. John Creighton is here. He's... Uh, Taking care of things of Mr. Vegas today, Jim Feist is here, I'm Dave Koken. Before we get to anything, uh, let's let's tell you about some special offers, <coughs> excuse me, we have, as I lose my voice. Um, I'll start with myself, I had a good, uh, another good college weekend uh, uh, with the big play coming on the, uh, the underdog of the year. I had my game of the year two weeks ago, won that, and my underdog of the year, and this was a really good play. Uh, you know, there's some that, this was what a game of the year is supposed to be like. Um, this was a game guaranteed to win outright, and boy, did they ever. It was Ohio University and Akron. Uh, knew they were really geared up for this game. Uh, they were very upset about the first meeting between the two teams that they'd kind of blown. And uh, Bobcats go in, and they just raked them for 40 minutes. This was not a close game. So that was a, a terrific winner on that game, 66-50, the final score. Going to have one more big play, uh, and that is my mismatch of the year. It's going to go on Saturday. And once again, we're going to attach a huge guarantee to this. Not only does it get the money, it gets it by at least 10 points to the spread. Okay, it's going to cover the spread by at least 10 points, or you're playing free right through the NCAA tournament. So that that's pretty strong. The game online is going to be $49, $50, depending on the, uh, where you go. Uh, but if you call the office, you're going to get it for 25 bucks. You're going to get two other plays with that. A bonus high roller play going tonight. Everything for $25 at 1-866-896-1629. By the way, last three Saturdays in 36 and 16. Last four Saturdays, rather. 36 and 16. So I've been knocking them out on Saturdays. Uh, 1-866-896-1629 is that number. Mr. Vegas. Uh, I know Louisiana Tech was a, a miss for you, but just about everything else getting there real good. Yeah, Louisiana Tech didn't quite get there. Need a couple more points. The college game of the year went down. Mr. Vegas is still on a three and O run with college basketball games of the month. One of those was Saturday. It was dog of the month with Wisconsin. That was a straight up winner at Iowa. He has a pair of college conference games of the month going on Saturday, and you can play right through the tournament. Right through April with Mr. Vegas for 35 bucks. We're going to include those two games of the year going Saturday, 1-866-896-1627. I forgot to mention one thing. My early bird baseball is now available because the preseason has started, exhibition season has started. Uh, baseball is my best sport, and it has been for a long time. My clients make big money every year in baseball. It's that simple. Once the season starts, it's a lot of money. It's expensive. Uh, right now, it's not. So call and get the early bird rate. Ask for the early bird special in baseball, 1-866-896-1629. Jim, you've got uh, a huge play going again uh, this weekend and also uh, an absolutely tremendous special for the upcoming tournaments in college basketball. So some big stuff on the way. Absolutely, Dave. Uh, this play on Saturday comes strictly out of the shadows Nobody will see it coming. That's why I call it the Shadow Shocker of the Year play. It goes for $200 online, and I like the name too, Dave. It's it's a great name. Yeah, I do like that. Uh, you get it for $200 online, or you can get it for 20 bucks by calling the, the number I'm going to give you. With a guarantee, you play through the tourney if you don't win this game. That's right. You play through the entire tourney. It's a $20 Price tag on this, 1-866-841-1655. Now, you get an early bird special along with this, a high roller going tonight. Plus, if you're interested in playing through the entire tournament, it's also $49 to do that. So one of the other offer is right there. Shadow Shocker goes 200 bucks online, $20 with a guarantee you win, or you play through the tourney for free. You also get a high roller going tonight. Make the call, 1-866-841-1655. And if you want to just buy the tourney straight up, it's 49 bucks to go through there. So it's it's a great offer. It comes out of the shadows, and you will collect the money. Yeah, this isn't in the shadows. Uh, before we get to the newsletters, we want to talk about, Jim, quick mention on Fast Facts. Uh, now that the tournaments are going to be here, 
And a lot of these games on neutral courts, really important to have accurate numbers on these games. And, and then when you get into the tournament, it's even more so because you get conferences not playing each other anymore. So explain for a minute what people get with fast backs, which is completely free. Well, it is free. Uh, JimFeist.com or JimWins.com and click on the Fast Facts link. You go to uh, the games that are listed there, either today or tomorrow's games, and you can look at it. It gives you a whole set, slow and fast ratings, uh, ATS rec records, straight-up records, home-and-away records, uh, and, it, and it, it brings it back to... Uh, you know, the season is long, so teams can be very different at the end of the year as they were at the beginning of the year. So you kind of have to keep track of that as well. And that's all there in the fast facts. I use it every day, and I, I wouldn't even dream of, of playing college hoops uh, without using this. And it is free. It's right on the Jim Feist site, jimfeist.com or jimwins.com, and just click on fast facts. It's, it's the best value out there. First of all, you don't pay for it. And... <laughs> And secondly, it will make you money. You will win money. Okay, so let's get to some NFL stuff before we hit the college basketball. Uh, here, Arizona law controversy is on my notes. Well, that's not the first time I've seen that phrase. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's going on down there now, Jim? <laughs> well, you know, in 1993, if I have my facts right on this, Arizona did not want to honor the Martin Luther King Day, which was a federal right. holiday. And uh, the NFL, out of reference to federal law and Martin Luther King, moved the game to California. So they lost the Super Bowl. They're doing it again. Uh, there, there's a bill out there that says if, you have, if you're part of a religion and you believe in that religion's bias against a group and you choose to honor that, you can discriminate against people based on your religious beliefs. So they're saying religious beliefs supersede what federal law is, which anti-discrimination laws we have all over the country. Arizona is a little bit wacky sometimes with some of their things. It's a beautiful state. I actually like it there, but uh, some of their philosophies are a little outrageous. But there are people that believe in that, and maybe... You know, that's where they need to live if that's the case. But you you got pro teams down there. You've got college teams down there. Uh, there are gays and lesbians uh, in our country, and they have rights. So if you own a restaurant and a gay and lesbian couple comes in and your religion says that you should not be doing servicing those people, you can refuse to service them and, I guess, escort them out of the building. That is against the law of the land. But I guess if you pass that in your state, then it becomes law unless the federal government comes in and the Supreme Court comes in and stops it. But that is on the agenda right now, and it's a big deal. And there is talk about moving next year's Super Bowl out of Arizona because of it. If the governor does not veto it, and I'm gambling right now the governor will veto it because it's a huge economic uh you know, and it hurts tourism all over the, the whole state. So I don't know why they would do this, although they have a very strong religious contingent down there that wants it, which is how it got on the docket in the first place. That's a big issue. You have another issue going on in, in pro football, which I absolutely do not understand. But then I, I know years ago we saw it down in Arizona where Marty Schottenheimer was 14-2 and two and he lost his job. Same Jim year. Harbaugh arguably has the best or second best team in football with San Francisco, and I think the team is actually trying to trade them. Uh, I'm not sure who instigated this. But the upper management is involved in it. They, I guess they don't get along with the guy. Uh, Harbaugh wants to have more control over player personnel. Well, he's the guy that's got to coach him. He should have some control. But uh, that's another issue. And, of course, coming out of left field, which is where Jaws seems to live, um, Ron Jaworski likes to make statements that sometimes we just take a little outrageously where he last year said Colin Kaepernick would be the best quarterback that ever played the game of football you know then you got to consider the team that he's on there's two quarterbacks that played there named Steve Young and and um, Joe Montana 
What's the other one? Joe Montana. I can't. Joe Montana. I, I don't. I don't think that Colin Kaepernick's going to be better than either one of those two, at least of all the whole league. So he comes out this week and says, if he was uh, drafting, he would not draft Johnny Manziel in the first three rounds of the draft. I don't think anybody else in the entire planet agrees with that, but. That's where Jaws comes from. So that's kind of an update on the NFL, which is a little bit out of season right now, but it's fun to talk about. Is Kaepernick better than Steve yeah, DeBerg? Yeah, never out of season. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Kaepernick. I think Kaepernick's going to be a hell of a quarterback, but uh, to put him in the Montana Young class at this point is uh, a little nuts. By the way, I don't think Jaws was real. I don't think Jaws was real high on, on Nick Foles either. <laughs> oh. How's that work? Yeah, out? terrible quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, as far as Manziel goes, you know, the one thing I'll, I'll say in Jawars on Jaworski's side of the argument, he, he's not even six feet tall. You know, that that is a concern. I think that is a concern. Uh, it is. That's not a thing for for small quarterbacks anymore, and that's why I mean RG three for all his talent, and he's bigger than Johnny Manziel. Uh, he's going to get beat up every year. He's not a big guy. You, you want six, five guys out there these days. That's this guy, Bortles, works. I'm, I'm going to make a prediction. Uh, I think Bortles will end up being the first quarterback taken. And I think he might be the first overall he, he, pick. I, I read about yeah. him at the Combine. He was tremendous, yes. Yep. Uh, you know, Drew, Drew Brees and Russell Wilson are both small in stature, quarterback. Right. But it seems like Manziel is leaner and not quite as physically built as those guys are. It is hard to play in a league with these these big, very physically strong players beating up all the time. But Brees and, and uh, Russell Wilson seem to get through the whole year with yeah. without too much of a problem. Well, uh, and, but the maybe the quarterback Brees... position changed. I think Breeze doesn't rely. Breeze doesn't rely on his legs, which Manziel does. No. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's why RG three is. RG three may never have another great year unless he can learn to be a drop back quarterback. Yeah, yeah. It's a pocket pass. You can get out there and do things with your legs, and Russell Wilson certainly does. But you got to be able to throw from the pocket, and Wilson can certainly do that. And Manziel kind of too. I think Manziel's just going to make some adjustments in his game. We'll see how it goes. He can make all the throws, though. 